Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly show you this. So I've um, managed to connect the LED matrices together and also I've wired up the HRSO4 ultrasonic distance detector to see how it all pans out. So I'm pretty happy with the LEDs. They're pretty good. I'm not as happy with the HRSO4, which I'll explain why in a second. Um, so basically what I've got is it will just measure the distance and show a reading between 0 and 50. Uh, it's not perfect to the centimetre yet. Oh, there's a complex bit of math that involves timing and um, it, there's no point getting that right until we're on the board that we're going to be on and we've figured out exactly what kind of sample rate we've got and the megahertz clock of the, the chip and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, as you saw just then, it flicks when, um, as you bring objects closer to it, obviously the number gets smaller and when it drops below 5, he's happy. The smiley face going on there and then when it gets above 50 and the further away you get the more inaccurate it gets and as it gets above 50 then it you become sad so he's like oh you've gone away so he's happy as he goes gets closer now I'm uh, it looks slow it's actually quite fast I've got um, a 250 millisecond delay between changes and I'm doing a sample of uh, Five, I'm doing five samples with 100 milliseconds and averaging out the result to try and get a, a less flickery kind of sample because it was going like 11, 12, 8, 6, 5, 9, 7, 2, 4, 7, 6, 5, 9, 7, 8, 5, 12. Uh, so by putting that average in, I get a kind of consistent number and, um, and a better sample. It's also not very good with non-flat surfaces. So if I kind of like move my hands closer to it, it gets a little bit confused. Um, you know, if I just change the angle, obviously it's not bouncing back on a perfect circus surface there. So yeah, it's going to be, we're definitely going to have to implement the servo guysy and do the sweep, um, to sort of get that, um, that kind of range or that, that arc of distance and then determine, you know, just basically where the kind of the least amount of noise is or what direction the least amount of noise came from. Uh, and then we'll, um, yeah, we'll go from there. But no, nice little prototype. At least the code's working. And um, man, those LEDs, they look cool. This video does not do it justice, seriously. In the flesh, they are hot. They're so nice. Anyway, cheers, guys.